Hello! Did you miss me? Of course you did. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back! I have taken a little break from filming uh, for no particular reason, just because winter is basically the time where I lose all of my will to live. <laughs> anyway, today is a little bit different because I got a special shipment and it's quite an exciting one. Um, it's not plants, unfortunately. I actually ordered Thrip killers. That's what the company that <laughs> sells them calls them. Basically, I recently found out, or like ever since I moved into this house, I knew that I had um, spider mites on a couple of my plants. And recently, uh, a couple of days ago, I found an actual adult thrips on one of my plants, on my Mandula pothos, which I was like, where did this come from? <laughs> and basically I am in no state of mind to be able to look after my plant and treat them like multiple times a week. So I just thought I would order beneficials and kind of control the pests um, in that way. So let's do this. I'm very excited. <laughs> so um, this is what we're using. Uh, they call it the Thrip Killer or also the Amblusius Swirskii. No idea. This is what they're supposed to look like. So this is supposed to be the predators. Kind of like spider mighty looking, but not really. Kind of like a very tiny tick. And um, this is supposed to be the thrips that being eaten alive. <laughs> I ordered these, I think, on Friday and I paid for overnight shipping just because these are, these are life thingies in here. So um, especially now that it's December, it's cold. So um, not exactly ideal for shipping life things. To be honest, I can't see, I can't see anything move there. I don't know if you can but either they were like really, really concealed or they died, which hopefully they didn't. <laughs> um, I paid, how much did I pay for this? I think I paid like 20 pounds or something for this. Um, I'll put it up on the screen in US dollars as well, but it wasn't really that expensive. I think basically just like a standard insecticide that is effective for thrips without the time that you have to spend washing the plants and spraying them all the time. So yeah, pretty good deal, I would say. So it says to use them immediately upon receipt. There are some conditions. It says temperature range uh, should be above 20 degrees Celsius. That shouldn't be a problem. Humidity, 70%, which now in winter, that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I cranked up my humidifier in the living room, which is where I'm gonna distribute these bad boys. So I'm gonna try to keep it at 70 the whole time. It says that lower humidity will not kill the beneficials, but it will make their reproduction difficult. So basically they need high humidity in order to be able to fornicate. And obviously uh, you shouldn't have applied any insecticides in the last two weeks because these bad boys are susceptible to insecticides as well. What? So it says that before application, you should carefully rotate the bottle to evenly distribute the bad boys. So I've already done that. Again, I don't really see anything moving, so I don't know if they're alive. <laughs> but it also sets to lightly mist leaves with water. So I'm gonna do that. And I actually recently ordered a macro lens for my iPhone so that I can give you some close-up shots of what this death being eaten alive is gonna look like because I don't know why I find that exciting, but it is exciting for some reason. <laughs> so this is the sad boy that is attacked by thrips. So let's take a look at them, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so I got some nice footage of some baby thrips and now it's time to release the kraken. <laughs> I don't see anything in there. It's very disconcerting. 
please don't be dead. I could have gotten another plane for 30 pounds. Okay, so there's that. Um, I got my spray bottle ready, so I'm gonna spray the plant and apply the mites. Let's do this. Bad boy is sprayed. How do we actually do this now? Do you just like unscrew it? I don't really know. Hello? Is there anyone home? It smells interesting. <laughs> Okay, I don't see literally anything in there. Let me try taking a look with the macro lens. See if there's anything moving. Oh my god! Oh, there are things moving in there, all right. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, I'm kind of creeped out. Oh. Okay, well, they're alive. That's good. I don't know what to do now. I'm so scared. What should I apply them with? Like, do I just sprinkle it on top? Like Parmesan cheese? Like, I don't, I don't really know. Help me! Oh my god, I think they're starting to come out. Oh my god! Stress! Stress! Very stressful. Okay, um... Okay, so I'm gonna use this teaspoon that I'm never gonna eat with ever again. <laughs> but sacrifices must be made. So let's just get some of them out here. Okay, here you go. Bon appetit! Yum yum! Dinner time! Um, I'm kind of just gonna sprinkle them like all over the place. I have no idea what I'm doing here, okay? <laughs> okay, a little bit more. I'm especially trying to target the leaves that look like they have some thrip damage because it's possible that they have some thrips eggs um, that I can't see because I only have human eyes. So this is the situation. Um, I've kind of sprinkled the flakes that they came in all over the plant, all over the leaves. And yeah, I'm gonna take a look if I can see anything. Uh, I'm not sure I will be able to see anything, but if I am gonna be able to see anything, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> to be honest, I feel a little bit... <clears throat> I feel like looking at all those crawly things kind of makes me think like there's something crawling on me. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have like a 40 minute long shower <laughs> to get all of the mites off because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. But anyway, I'll catch up with you uh, when there's something happening, if there's something happening. <laughs> Hello guys! So it's been a couple of weeks since I released the predators on my plants and I'm here to give you a little bit of an update. First of all, I'm not sure if I showed it in the video so far, but if I haven't, here is some footage of what the predator mites look like when they are crawling on a plant. I wasn't actually able to witness them eating any thrips larva or any thrips eggs. That might be because they are too small, even with the macro lens on my phone. Or it might just be that, um, well, for one, there weren't any eggs to eat when I was looking. Or two, they were useless. <laughs> but I don't think that is the case because I've been checking on this plant, which is the thrips infested one. I've been checking on this one and I haven't actually seen any thrips on it, any larva or anything. It seems like the predatory mites did their job. They did not kill any of the adult thrips. Um, that's not what they're meant for. They're only meant for the larva and the eggs. Um, if you want to attack the adult thrips, you need to get like a different variety of mites or something. With the adult thrips, I just, um, took them off the plant one by one. <laughs> and ever since I took the last one off, I haven't seen any new thrips on this plant. So in terms of how it fared with the humidity and stuff, um, this plant was in the bathroom isolated from all the other plants because I'm paranoid. So it didn't really receive the required humidity that it needed. And to be honest, I'm not sure if there are any predatory mites on this plant alive still. I did just check one of my plants here um, on the shelf and I do have a humidifier here in this room that wasn't running every single day so the humidity hasn't always been at 70% or above but they're still alive so that tells you that you know with like regular humidity levels it's usually like well it's 28 right now 
but normally it's like 40 50. They probably would have their lifespan like as a species expanded if I did have the humidity higher because remember I said they only need the humidity to reproduce. They don't necessarily need it to survive. Obviously it's gonna help you know if you have higher humidity. Ultimately would I say that it's been worth it? I would say yeah definitely. <laughs> I uh, don't think that this species really works on spider mites because I've got um, them on my plants here and I do still see some spider mites so not effective for spider mites which is what I was hoping for. Bit of a bummer um, but you know then again that wasn't the reason that I got them. So definitely effective for thrips. It was good because I didn't have to spray the plant or anything. I like, literally just released them and let them do their thing. If you're as lazy as me to deal with thrips, I would definitely recommend getting some beneficial insects. These ones especially, you know, I mentioned that um, they only work on thrips and in particular thrips, eggs and larvae. So um, if that is the issue that you need to deal with, then yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was quite chaotic at times, but when I was editing it, I thought it was funny. So hopefully you'll agree with me. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, leave a comment down below. Give me a like, comment, I already said that, um, or subscribe to my channel. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram at CircPlantsAlot because I post almost every single day when I feel like it. So I'm pretty active on there too. So if you wanna keep up with my radiant personality on there, go ahead and do that. <laughs> anyway, um, that's gonna be it for me. So have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.